Right, so it's the, what is the date? Hold on. Right, so it's the 10th of January and I haven't hit a single golf ball yet this year. That's no good. We were away over Christmas and New Year and didn't get back until last Friday. I was gonna play at the weekend, but the weather put an end to that. So I'm gonna to go to the golf club. I'm just gonna hit some balls on the range and then go out and play maybe nine or 18 holes on my own. I really just wanna see kind of where my swing is at at the moment. I played a few times last year after I had a couple of months off, but I was just hitting the ball really, just focusing on getting the club heads on the back of the ball and trying to hit it to the target. And I actually played all right at times. My first proper 18 hole round back after the layoff, I shot four over and I was two over going down the last. I was 50 yards out on a par five after two shots and I managed to turn it into a seven, so that wasn't too clever. But obviously apart from that, it was good. And then I played a day or two after that and didn't score quite as well, but it still wasn't a disgrace. I think I shot 79, I think. So again, you know, probably better than I'd expected. But as I say, I haven't looked at my swing, I haven't really thought about what I'm doing much at all since kind of the end of last summer before I um, had a little break. So I'm gonna record a few swings, have a look at them. I'll talk you through what I'm seeing. What I need to do now really is decide what needs to be improved the most and how I'm gonna do that. So I probably need to start having some lessons. So I need to find a coach. If you've watched my previous videos, I had a few lessons with different people last summer, but, and they were all good, good lessons, but they're all so far away that they're not people that I can see regularly. Uh, you know, if it's like a three hour drive, you've got to allow three and a half, four hours, then maybe an hour or so there, come back, that's a whole day got on. Not to mention the cost of the lesson, plus the cost of the petrol, it's all too much. So I need to find someone a bit more local who I can see every week, every couple of weeks or whatever, um, and get a plan in place to improve my swing from where it is now to where it needs to be. I've got, I've worked out 80 days from now until the first qualifying comp of the season. So we need to crack on. We've got work to do. Some of the balls we get at the range are incredible. What the hell is a tri cyber? I'm so good at this vlogging. I just filmed myself talking to the camera for about 10 seconds and then realised that all I've done was taking a still photo instead. Anyway, there isn't room here on the range for me to film my swing from down the line because that canopy thing is only sort of six feet or so from the back of the mat. So I'm gonna go film this in the net instead. So I'm gonna go and play a few holes. I probably won't record much because I've only got about an hour left of daylight. So I'd rather just get a few holes in rather than mess around trying to record things. But I'll see you back at home when we can look at those swings. I've also, as you can see, got two putters in the bag at the moment. I've got this one which is my putter for most of last year. Ignore the head cover, um, I lost the original one, so this is just a snidey replacement. This one which is the Ping Answer 2 Cadence TR. It really annoys me, the face just gets knackered, look at it. I know that looks like dirt, but it's not. That's just where like, the kind of paint has collapsed and gone all skanky, which is really annoying. That's one option. Second one is the Ping Gnome TR, so a bit more of a mallet head. I basically feel like I prefer this one on short putts, but like I'm gonna hold everything. But I prefer 
the kind of distance control with the other one. But obviously by the time I start playing in comps, I can't have two pluses in the bag. So is it gonna be this one, this one, or something else completely? Who knows? Who cares? Thanks for that, Mr. Weird 70s robot. Although to be fair, he has got a point. I had a little debate with myself about whether I was gonna put these swing videos on YouTube in this way, because you know, it's the internet and everybody's going to have an opinion and I guess a lot of it will be quite critical. So I was thinking, is that going to be bad news for me to have those people saying, oh, maybe your swing's crap, you know, you're doing this wrong, that wrong, whatever. But obviously my swing is going to be on pretty much every video that I put on YouTube. So if people want to make those comments, they can make it on any video they like reading, not just this one. And also, like I said at the start of the video, I know my swing is a long way from being where it needs to be. So it's not going to be a horrible shock to me if people you know, have got those kind of negative comments about it. It's not like I'm sat there thinking that my swing is better than Adam Scott's and actually it's worse than Charles Barkley's. Hopefully it's not quite that bad. Um, so I thought, what the hell, I might as well just go for it. And also, I really want to get to the stage this year where I've got one coach and I've got complete faith in what they tell me and that's all I work on. So I'm not getting advice from loads of different people, which is definitely a mistake that I made towards the end of last year when I was having you know different lessons from different people uh, and watching different videos and trying to sort of self-diagnose my own swing and all that kind of stuff. I really just need to find one person, put pretty much complete trust in them and just work at what they say. So by all means, say what you like about my swing, but don't expect me to try to change it based on those comments, because that is not how people get good at golf by a committee of people giving advice and saying, oh, try this, try that. You, just, you get too jumbled then. Anyway, enough chat. Let's have a quick look at the swings. Okay, so this is it from down the line, obviously. I'll play it through once and then probably again, see if I can add some lines if I know how to do that, or just at least talk you through certain parts. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is talk about what I think is the biggest issue. So with all of this, I don't wanna get bogged down in aesthetics. I think you've only got to look on tour and see how many different types of golf swings there are. Some of them are a long way away from textbook and they're obviously working very well. So. I don't want to be making changes to my swing just because it then looks a bit more like Rory McIlroy's or Tiger Woods. It's all based around impact. Right, so it turns out I don't know how to draw lines on videos, but what I want you to do is look at the position of my shaft at address and then again at impact. See how much steeper it is at impact. Here's where we are at address, and here's where we are at impact. I've tried to lay them on top of each other so you can see the difference. And you can see it's quite a lot steeper than it was at the start, and I think that's a big cause of a lot of my problems. So I've been on launch monitors and things quite a few times, and generally my path is quite good. My face control is normally okay. Um, if anything, I'll tend to leave it a bit open. So my bad shot last year would be either a little push or a little push fade and um, I very rarely missed anything left. I think a lot of it is because I've got this real steep shaft at impact, so what you call toe down. And I've tried to fix this and I just can't. I think for me it's, it's a result of a lot of different things, so the way that my body is working or not working enough, so I'm not driving the swing enough with my body. If you look here at impact, I haven't sort of rotated open and cleared through onto my left anywhere near as much as you watch the pros. So yeah, there's a lot of different factors that are causing this. So me just trying to, in my head, not have such a steep shaft at impact isn't working because I have not managed to correctly identify the different factors and worked out a feeling of how to change them, which is why I need a professional. <laughs> Video and stuff is all well and good. And I know a fair bit about the golf swing. You know, I can, spot things, I know what looks good, what doesn't, but the reason I'm not a PJ professional and not a scratch golfer, I would say, is that 
I'm not good enough at diagnosing and working out how to actually fix them. So I might know what's wrong, but just don't know how to get rid of it. And if you look at the face on one, when I was talking before about not driving it with my body and not clearing enough, I think that comes in again here. So yeah, my body and legs have kind of stalled a bit. And the only way therefore for me to get the club face square is to kind of rotate it with my hands. And that works sometimes, but it's hard to time consistently, which is why I feel like I can't just stand on a tee or over any shot and think, right, I'm gonna just hit this as hard as I want. And I'm pretty confident it's gonna go roughly where I need. I at times feel like it could go anywhere. And it also causes strike issues because yeah, trying to do everything with your hands is um, inconsistent. Anyway, I think I probably prattled on for long enough about my horrible looking golf swing. Um, but one good thing is that if I'd been making this video towards the end of last year, I'd have been looking at this and coming out of it feeling quite sort of negative and downbeat about things, thinking, oh, you know, I'm really steep and I'm chopping at it and well, that's horrible. But I don't really feel that way now because I just feel like, well, I know I can play good golf with that swing. I've done it before plenty of times. You know, that swing got me from 10 when I started this project to five. I've had loads of good rounds with that swing. You know, I've shot one over, I've had rounds with four or five birdies, all that kind of stuff. So I can do that with that swing. That makes me think how well could I play if I can actually improve that swing a bit. So that is the next focus. I need to find a local coach who can help me and go from there. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. Don't forget in my last video to enter the competition to win some golf balls. I'll be drawing that pretty soon. So go back and watch that and enter if you haven't already. Let me know also if you're having lessons or if you have had lessons in the past or you're thinking about getting some lessons, what kind of stuff do you look for in a coach? Or if you know any good coaches near me, I live in Stanford in Lincolnshire, then let me know. Where am I? Who turned out the light?